offer so many different types of adventures. It's one of the most pet-friendly cities in the U.S. A must-do for any petcation. From three dog-friendly off-leash beaches, to shops, restaurants, hotels, and even places to get a potty cure for the tired pup feet. Amazing! And for your kitty friends, San Diego is even home to the annual Food and Water Bowl Cat Show, where your cat can crawl its way to be the number one kitty. <laughs> when people think of San Diego, they think of Balboa Park. In Balboa Park, history and culture come alive. Balboa Park offers three dog areas and houses 15 museums and is referred to as the Smithsonian of the West. It offers many shops and is home to the famous San Diego Zoo. The best part about Balboa Park is if your pooch gets parched, there's a giant water bowl in the center of the park. So I'm with Dawn, the owner of Leash Your Fitness. I love this concept. I love to work out and I love my dog. I take him with me everywhere. So what made you come up with this concept? Well, I got Jack here. 2005 <laughs> and obviously I never wanted to leave him home you know right. so I'm a personal trainer and I train all my clients I was training at the gym and private clubs and stuff like that but when I got Jack I didn't want to leave him at home so I started taking him and then so I started incorporating my clients workouts dogs with their workouts and they loved it I mean the reason they yeah. hired me is they don't really like working out so <laughs> I took their mind off their workout and they absolutely loved it that's like amazing this is such an amazing concept so as a tourist coming to San Diego is there any way that I could just do a boot camp class or do you have to sign up for an entire month? Oh no, we love for people to come and try the classes. We have classes all throughout San Diego, North County, we have some at the Bay sometimes, downtown, sometimes at the convention center we have them, Belleville Park. So we, on the weekends we have Saturday morning and Sunday morning classes, so we love it for people to come out and try the classes and they can do every, they can do all the sign up and everything online. Okay, and you just go to leashyourfitness.com? Yep, leash, your, leash like a dog leash, yes. <laughs> yourfitness.com and they can sign up for just one class or like the regulars that live here in San Diego, they usually buy a package or they do monthly unlimited. Nice. After all that, we're ready for a snack. Let's continue this adventure at the original Paul Pleasers. Boys Ben's in for a treat. At original Paul Pleasers, they specialize in birthday cakes and specialty dog treats. And I think we're gonna get to go make some. We are, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So Lori, what are we doing here today? We are going to be dipping our San Diego themed cookies. Ooh. And since we're a beach town, we like to specialize in things. We have turtles, surfboards, we've got seashells, palm trees, and seahorses. And we're gonna dip them and you're gonna help me. Awesome, yay! So grab a surfboard. Okay, let's do it. And what we're gonna do is just, you just dip it in and it's a little messy. Is there a proper way to dip? Or you're gonna just, just like kind of shake it a little bit. If you wanna get the extra off and then real quick flip it over. And just oh, if you shake it, it kind of evens out. <laughs> it's like have... baking real cookies at home. It is. We use all ingredients that are human grade. Yeah. Do you have any snacks with meat in them? I know my dog is so snobby. He loves his little bacon treats. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hard to compete with bacon. But <laughs> what we did for the grain free, we wanted some things that were really interesting. So we do buffalo and ostrich for our Ooh. grain treat, grain free. And then we also do a barley turkey and we do a barley venison. Yummy. Yeah. That sounds like good enough for me to eat. <laughs> they are very good. You know, we, we tell people, we do the fun stuff. We're like doggy Disneyland. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I and love we it. really enjoy what we do. What next? What do we do with these once we dip them? Now we're gonna let them set up a little bit. Okay. And then we'll come back a little bit later and we can decorate them. Yay, how exciting. <laughs> so while we're waiting for these to set up, we have these that have already been decorated and I know Mama needs a cocktail, so I guess <laughs> Ben's has been a good boy today, so so have I. So this is for you, Ben. This is a peanut butter glass of wine. And hey, if the local news can do it, so can I. <laughs> Fortunately for Ben, inside Paul Pleasers, they offer pedicures by Tess. Pedicures is amazing because not only does Tess offer pedicures, she offers facials, T-touch massages, and does your pet need a Brazilian? Because Tess can take care of that too. It's a great place for your dog that's been loving on you all day to go in and spend the day and get away. Let me just turn it on. I would file your nails here, like this. You want to take that edge off so there's no edges. 
doesn't even move. <laughs> this is a real dog. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she looks like a toy. <laughs> oh my are these nail polishes pet friendly? They are. They're actually different than the human polish. So okay. there's um, two different ingredients that don't exist in the nail polish for the dogs, and it does in our. Isn't that kind of strange? Yeah. That you would think ours would be just as safe, but right. theirs is safer. Okay. And I love it because it dries even faster. They can lick it, eat it. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. I got some matching <laughs> polish, kind of. Mine's pink. I will do yours next. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> good. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tess. Okay. So for a great pedicure, you have to come to Taz. She does the best in San Diego. She's been doing it for 18 years, which is amazing. 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 And she'll have a relaxation Thanks, technique that can make <laughs> the most hyper of puppies. <laughs> Relax for a little while at least. We've had so much fun at Paul Pleasers and Pedicures by Tess. Good thing on the way out, we can grab an ice cream to go. Pumpkin, please. There you go. Thank you. And head off to the park. Let's go, Ben. Coronado Island is a must-do on any pet vacation. Coronado Island offers plenty of pet-friendly hotels, from the Lowe's to the Cherokee to the Crown Inn, and plenty of vacation rentals. Even if the weather's not beach appropriate, Coronado Island offers plenty of specialty boutiques and outdoor stores. Also, it offers plenty of restaurants with outdoor seating. Come on, Ben, let's go check it out. Jesse's dog on school of surfing and catch a wave. This is what we came here for. I'm with Surf Master Jess of Dog on Surfing School. He's gonna teach us the puppy wave. Puppy wave. Puppy wave. Some dogs can jump on a board in the ocean and surf the first time they try. Others use a surfboard as a diving board and jump off when the board starts moving. Others are a little freaked out <laughs> moving up the board and it takes them a little longer to get the hang of it. When using treats, always treat the dog on the board. You want to reinforce the behavior of the dog being on the board, not getting off the board. Uh, never force your dog on the board. Pick him or up to place him. You want your dog to make decisions to get on the board by themselves. Uh, some dogs serve standing up, some lay down, and others sit. It's all personal preference for your dog. Uh, use a word re to release your dog from being on the board, such as release. You want the dog to learn they should stay on the board until you give the release cue. Using the release cue will let them know it's okay to get off the board. Many dogs surf backward because they're watching their owner who pushed them off. Uh, if you want your dog to surf forward, be sure to work on the stay or wake cue while you're behind the dog. Uh, now would be a good time to get your dog used to like wearing a life jacket. Safe safety is very important when surfing, and a life jacket should always be worn. If your dog has never worn one, putting it on the first time might feel fun. So practice putting the life jacket on. Plenty of trees to make it positive association. Begin pushing the board in the water so your dog can experience what it's like to be in a large body of water on the surface. Hold on to your dog and let them know they're safe. The bond you've been building with this all this training really comes into play now. Your dog trusts that you'll keep him or her safe and it's your job to ensure his or her safety. Just remember, with practice comes perfection. Your dog needs to work. Finally in San Diego, it's warm and sunny, but today it's freezing. Yet there are still dogs at Dog Beach. Dog Beach has over 38 acres of uninterrupted sand and surf. With over 10,000 puppies that strut their stuff weekly on this beach, it's not only one of the first beaches, but it's also the busiest attractions in San Diego for pets. The Dog Beach is a great place to play a game of frisbee, catch a wave, catch a tan, or just catch up with some good quality time with your family. After playing in the sand all day, Ben's got a little dirty. So we're here at the Dog Beach Dog Wash, the do-it-yourself dog wash. Let's go give this guy a bath. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Well, we started because one of my dogs uh, went to Dog Beach twice a day and was always sandy and dirty and developed a skin condition and needed a bath every day for two weeks. And it took me an hour and a half daily to clean my bathroom and do a load of laundry. So I knew there was an easier way. Right. And we've been here 19 years. We've done 450,000 dog washes. Wow. 
During the week, about 50 to 60, and on weekends, usually more. Today, the weather wasn't as balmy as it <laughs> often is in San Diego, so we had a fewer than usual. We get a lot of visitors from Arizona and Orange County and LA County in the summer. They come down for just the day and take their dogs and they'll spend uh, hours and hours just playing with their dogs in the water. A regular wash is $13, but we have specials throughout the year that make it about 10. And if you have more than one dog, there's a discount. Oh, wow. At the Dog Wash, they provide everything you need from towels to shampoos to conditioners and they can even make recommendations. They also provide services for your dog needs, like nail trimming and specialty toys and treats. So Ben's was a very good dog. He Thank you, coats. yes. His coat is so shiny and it's so soft. And, and he, Thank you so much. Well, we're definitely we're coming back. Glad to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. Who knew that taking your dog to the dog beach wash would be so much fun? Oh, you want more treats? More treats, yeah. Thank you. Bye! <laughs> We've tackled San Diego, California. Tune in next time to find out what exciting petcation we take on this adventure for your pet.